Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum And always a reminder for myself and Abdul Qiraji Sadai for miskeen wa zalim and jahalim but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah opened for us the blessed month of Rabbi Thani and the secret and the dress of Surat Al Yaseen upon creation. And the immensity of Ya and seeing that Allah swears by Prophet whose name is Sayyidina Yaseen and by what makes the prophetic reality are the ingredients in which Allah has put. In this month it's understanding of Ya and Seen that Allah has put the immensity of all knowledges within the Ya and that those knowledges when given to the soul of the servant dresses the seen so that when Allah gives them the secret of light and the light of every secret it already has within it the calling and the unlocking of knowledges. And those whom are not versed in Arabic that's why they can just look at the graph that we drew of the Arabic letters, they start with alif. And this is in the regular order not the abjad order and the last of the Arabic letters is ya. And the 29th letter is lam alif but we are going all the way to the ya. So it means that all the building blocks of these words are these letters. These letters are created from Muhammadun Rasulullah means this is an ocean of creation. Allah paints from one paint, all creation is coming from this one ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah the soul and the world of light. And from that every letter you put together to make words, these words put together to make infinite sentences and realities and revelations. And all of that is encapsulated because from all the way from the alif to the ya it's a circle. So then the ya is right behind the alif because everything for us is a circular, every knowledge is, has a beginning and an end. So all the way from the letter alif all the way to the 28th letter would be the ya. So then this ya and alif connects and this is a means in which to call. That when we say, Ya Allah, we're… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Calling but in reality we're asking Allah from the reality of this ya, all its infinite knowledges to dress us and bless us. And the infinite capacity of ya and yaqeen and certainty that when Allah want to grant the servant these knowledges it's a state of certainty. And that the two dots they symbolize these realities. That when Allah wants to grant the servant certainty, He grants them from the knowledges of the heavens and knowledges of the world of form. Means one symbolizes the world of mulk, one nukht, one dart is the knowledges of the world of form, which is under the, the management or the attribute of Allah's sifat of Rahman, and the other nukht is under the management of Sifat al Rahim, means that the world of form and light, mulk wa malakut, and that Allah is giving a completeness within Ya. 
So when he, Allah grants a servant certainty means He grants them the two knowledges and the two wings of realities. Means there are those whom acquire a knowledge of the physical world. They read, they study and they whether religious texts, uh, non-religious texts, accounting, math, science, medicine means they, they master a knowledge in the world of form and without the world of light that knowledge is hollow and the knowledge is incomplete and can't reach to its completion and that's not a certainty. Anything in which you've acquired only for the sake of the world of form means you only understood its external meaning, it's incomplete. And that's why external form is used, Bismillahir Rahman, Allah could have stopped. But Allah put in Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, that in my name of Rahman and Raheem is your completeness. So from very beginning Allah grants us that seek both. Don't seek only a knowledge from the world of form and think that you've completed your deen, completed yourself, completed your knowledges. It's hollow, it's empty, it's only from the outside. But what you're going to put within your knowledge that completes you for your eternal journey. So He said, imagine acquiring all the knowledges on this earth. And you think, oh, oh infinite capacity like a computer your brain memorizes everything, it's from this earth. Seventy years later you're dead, now what? What was the, the value of that? If only you gained a knowledge from one little dot in an infinite dot of God's creation, you don't consider that a knowledge in the capacity of infinite. On a infinite is a linear equation that has no beginning no end. Congratulations you came and learned all you could from this dot, just only this earth, this, this manifestation of your existence. So Allah inspire within us that's empty, you didn't reach, you didn't reach anything. And we know from all that we teach the world of form has many illusions and delusions because you feel it to be complete but you don't know its inner workings. You come to a clock and you say, oh look I know what time it is, eh, anyone can do that. Look, look here, see this is the big hand, this tells you, then this the small hand tells you the time, the big hand tells you the minute and then it's at three o'clock. You come back later and it's still at three o'clock. So by looking to the world of form you didn't know anything. But what Allah wants the servant is go inside and see how this clock works and how it ticks. And when you look inside you can see it's empty. As a matter of fact inside looks like it's broken. And as a result of knowing the inner knowledge you understand how this clock should be working so that you can come back out and say, it's not working correctly. The inside is, is not uh, properly functioning. As a result of the inside not functioning definitely the outside is telling you the wrong time. Means in spirituality and spiritual seekers they are have to understand the inside controls the outside. If the inside is functioning the outside tells you the correct time, means it's aware, it's illuminated. If the inside is not functioning it can appear to be telling you the right time but it can be very corrupt. You look inside and somebody has hijacked this, it's not a real watch. Somebody from another country maybe manipulated something and it could be a fake. It doesn't have the precision, it doesn't have all of the realities Allah put within it. They speak a good word and Prophet warned us in the last days, it's the people of form. Their speech may be pleasing to you. What does that mean? It means their Arabic is completely perfect because what speech is going to be pleasing to people? that they're going to speak perfectly, the recitation of Qur'an perfectly. Inside is corrupt, inside is not what it's supposed to be. 
and they tell people the wrong time. They say, no, 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 it's, it's, it's saying it completely correct. Pronunciation is correct but that's not the criteria for something right. The criteria was the inner working and inner reality had to be clean, had to be purified, had to have the way of taskiyah in which they struggled with themselves. The one who knows himself knows his Lord, all Prophet's holy hadith are immense guide points for these realities. The one who knows himself will know his Lord, not the one who professes to know his Lord but doesn't know anything about himself. So means that this ya signifies our whole path. That when Allah want to grant to the servant, I'm going to give you two powers. I want to grant you the power of the knowledges in the world of form, means you're pretty much like a Google that can give you reference to a knowledge and an understanding. But you tap into your reality from Sifat al Rahim, from the inner works of the world of light. It will explain to you what that form is for, what it should be for or what is being used for. So means the one whom has the inner realities and this is the servants of the way and those whom are following the tariqahs. It is the path of realities, not the path of the world of form. It's the path of those whom seek the inner world of light. That's why in Surah Al Yaseen Allah is giving to us that Yaseen wal Qur'an and Hakim, every wisdom of Holy Qur'an is going to be coming by Allah's dress. And then all the way to Tanzeer Aziz Rahim. It's coming to you via Tanzil because Allah is giving the delivery, is swearing by this reality, wa hikmat al Qur'an means that this is the highest level of knowledges, is the wisdom of Holy Qur'an which is the wisdom of Allah's Divinely speech. And it's coming, this is like your tracking, it's coming via an express package from Allah Aziz al Rahim. Aziz Allah's army on front of it that nothing can stop this from coming to you. There's nobody that can hijack your connection, break your connection, stop your connection. They like you, they don't like you, they profess you, they disprofess you. This is Aziz al Rahim. Allah is like an express courier from heavens and Divine Presences. It's coming with no stop, it's flying right in. That this uloom and knowledges is coming from Rahim. If you're not good with Rahim, uh, Rahman can't help you, your knowledge is incomplete. Means that if you only understood from the world of form and that your Islam is only limited to form, you're empty. And in days of difficulty that's very dangerous because there's no certainty. What we talk about deceit and deception means the time of a magician is coming whose appearance may look normal to you. So, oh I thought Prophet described that one bulging eye, yes, but uh, this person has the ability to veil themselves. So may look to you as someone young, handsome, attractive, luminous because they have the ability <coughs> to veil themselves. Not coming looking like a horror show then everybody would run and know, means that they have the power of the deception in the world of form. So in a world in which is being warned that there's going to be deception in your world of form, then it's the believer's duty to open up the certainty of the world of light. If they don't do the practice to open that light, if they don't do their, their practices to open that reality, to illuminate their inner heart and inner eyes and that Allah granted them from Sifat al-Rahim. That's why in the heart of Qur'an which is Surat al-Yaseen is why we gave to you then all the way you go and Allah grants the ayat al-Kareem what they say is the, is the heart of the heart of Surah Yaseen, Salamun qawlum mi Rabbil Raheem, a word of salams from the Lord who, who 
runs Sifat al Rahim. Means the Lordship that controls this attribute of Allah from Ati Allah, Allah is the ultimate controller. From Ati Rasul means everything is under this command. Every attribute of Allah is under the command of Allah. Then Allah gives the chain of command. That same attribute has to obey Allah, that obeys Allah. Means when Allah is giving Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum, this is Allah's command to everything, to all His names and attributes, to all the angels. That Allah is giving a command that, You obey Me, You obey My Rasul because you'll never see Me but you'll know My command is in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and Wa Ulul Amri Minkum. Means from this Rasulullah Every command will come to the angels, the jinn and ins and all the spiritual beings whom are categorized as the people of authority, they'll be carrying out the command of Allah So it means that this Raheem Allah is granting in Surah Yaseen, Salaamun Qawlim min Rabbil Raheem that you need the salams for the Lord, the Rabb means the, the authorities in charge of Sifat al-Raheem, they have to grant you as salams. And how you grant a salams is they have to be pleased with you, pleased with your character, pleased with your sincerity and your struggle. That's, that's the, the reason why the tariqahs come. And say, okay, alhamdulillah you prayed, that's great but that doesn't open their salams like that. The salams is opened by your khuluq and your character. They see that you struggle with yourself, they see that your temperament and character, you try so hard to be good, to be patient, to, to be an ambassador of this Divinely love and this Divinely grace. You, you do what Allah asked of you, you do your prayers, do all the commands that Allah has asked of you. You may not be the best at it but this is about the character that opens these secrets and that your life is a struggle, your life is a khidmat. That's why the tariqahs are teaching you, that's great, you know, alhamdulillah you do that, you do this, you prayed all your prayers at home but go in, be of service. When your life has a service and you're amongst people serving, you also get to apply your character. Because imagine at home you think you're great, you think you're the best servant of Allah you go out to give a hamburger and you start yelling at somebody. You go out to, to be of service and you talk down and degrade people. Then Allah points out for us, it's your very service that will show you your character. That your years of prayers, maybe they didn't help you if your character never changed. So what was the value of that ibadah? If all your life you thought you prayed and fasted and you achieved these immense ranks and one day you go out to serve, you're belligerent, angry and rough, all your years of prayers had no value on you. And Allah's, that's a great warning from Allah Holy moly that you didn't, you didn't pass one day, how are you going to pass when Allah wants to observe you and call you be above into the Divinely Presence? So means the tariqahs come to teach us, oh we're not waiting for that day, that we are living a life of service and khidmat. And that's why when the shaykhs ask us, live a life of service, we go out and serve. As a result we have interactions with all these different types of characteristics that teach us patience, teach us mercy, teach us every type of attribute that is pleasing to Allah When we talk to our own students they come and say, Shaykh we're amazed at how, how patient you are, it's the same questions all the time. And you tell everybody, how come you don't get the book, read the book, study the book? I say, it's that very patience that makes Allah inshaAllah to be happy with us. Because you could have been angry and rough and, and a different type of character but that doesn't open Allah's rahmah and mercy. So it means all, all of this 
is about achieving these characteristics in which Allah to be rida, Illahi anta maqsoodi wa ridat matloob. That I beg your forgiveness and I ask for your, your rida, that your radi, your English for rida is that you're, you're content with me, happy with me, that I'm trying my best in my struggle, I'm not going to be perfect. We're not perfect people, we took a path of perfection. So this is where the, the awliya are, are giving to our hearts to remind us, oh it's not about the one who prays in perfection and fasts in perfection but the one who does all of that but then deals with people and has good character, lives a life of service and has good character, is selfless that when they get a raise they don't think it's for them. That the rays take for your family and then again live a life of service, be of service, give that in the way of Allah to make other people. You know feeding yourself is a great accomplishment because you worked hard, feeding others is for your soul and has an infinite return. The return that you had on your money and, and you ate and you enjoyed that's great but that's the world of form. If you want from your money, your life and your time an infinite return, then you invest in Rahim. You invest your life in your world of light and that's why from the rizq they put it towards their soul. From the time they have they put into their companies, to their work, alhamdulillah. But from that time Allah gave to you also put it towards your world of light because that which you invest in Sifat rahim is the service you do, the donations you give, the time you give, the finger and, and sharing, all of this service, it's an eternal return that Allah grants it under Sifat rahim for your eternal soul. So that's why we said the people whom they invested only in their mulk, in the infinite line which is infinite in infinity, they didn't achieve anything in Allah's eyes. That those whom live their life balanced is they invested in the linear reality, in the eternal reality. Their service, their work, their khidmat, their writing, their acquiring, their struggling had an infinite return because it's going into the world of light. As a result that they took to this world of light and they began to achieve. And as they achieve from the world of light, Allah grants them an authority into the world of form. We said that the attribute of Rahim controls the attribute of Rahman. The power of Rahim is the inner working of that nucleus. Rahman is the atom that has manifested. So the power is an atom. Your existence is based on your atoms. The nucleus of that atom is Rahim, is the inner Kaaba and the inner reality. Because of the inner power the outer of Rahman al-Arsh istawa means that Allah's authority is upon Sifat rahman its inner power is Sifat rahim and the one whom controls Sifat rahim controls the outer mulk. So means the uloom and the knowledge of awliya is that they took a life in which to become under the majesty of a rahim in which Allah granted them from Allah from Prophet and then the command to all the ulul amri minkum. That when Allah grants us salam, salamun qawlu min Rabbi Raheem, I'm granting upon this servant my salams, my love and my eternal light upon this servant. What happens with them? They've been granted eternity. Salamun hiya hatta mitla al fajr. Allah describes this now in Qadr, right? When we're talking about Allah's salam, Allah doesn't give you salam and take it back, His security checked you. And if you go off stray, He give you a good beating and put you back 
into his submission complete. And as a result Allah grant salam, salamun. This peace, this blessings, this immense of the what? This salam of the immense secrets through the holy tongue to the reality of Prophet it's immense. Salam is, is an immense loaded word. Each word of Allah is not what you think, oh I mean salam is peace, Allah is saying peace, peace to you, no John thank you. No, it has, has a, this is the immensity of Allah's knowledges are being dressed upon that serve salamun qawlum mir rabbir raheem means the Lord's in which manage Sifatul Raheem and the inner reality of everything from the worlds of light manifest and unmanifest, their salams, their knowledges, their secrets and this tongue of Sayyidina Muhammad and Muhammad and haqqaiqs addressing your soul salamun here hatta matna al-fajr from Surat al-Qadr that in every moment Allah's salam is now triggered upon that salam, upon that servant. So when we want to understand the salam qawlum ir rabbir raheem, a word of salams from the Lord of Raheem, then it is understanding is in Surat Al-Qadr. That Allah is describing on Laylatul Qadr, I'm going to grant you my salams all the way to your fajr. Means every fajr Allah is continuously dressing the servant with what? The angels and the ruh, with the might and the permission of Allah is, is sending all these knowledges into their soul, every connection and illumination and every coordinates into their soul and it's a continuous flow. Means the immensity of, of that ya. In, in these words Allah is granting an immense power. As a result of the one whom has been illuminated with their soul, of course now they have the power of the mulk. So what is the, the last of Surati Yaseens? Jahid, last verse of Surati Yaseen please Chief. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir raheem Fa subhanalladhi biyadihi malakutu kulli shay'in wa ilayhi turja'oon Sadaqallahul aliyyul azeem Allah Subhan and glory that Allah might and majesty and that Allah is giving His Subhan means glory be to Allah because you can understand how much I'm giving to you only my glory understands that I'm, my hand is coming to you, my power is coming to you and that kulli shay and that this malakut I'm giving to you, this support I'm giving to you, my hand I'm putting upon you it encompass kulli shay because only our, our lawyers for Allah So they're giving you a verse, if anyone make a comment that not this, not that, look you don't know anything of these realities, Allah put into this contract kulli shay, kulli shay that there's nothing left out of the authority. And to this reality you will be returning. Not to anything you thought from the world of form, you believed, you didn't believe, they don't care. Means these authorized realities, it's coming with the hand of Allah and in their contract with Allah it is all encompassing and to it you're going to return. Means you're going back into Sifat al-Rahim, into the ocean of authority. Means you, you can't escape that authority, you can't escape that judgment and that reality. It's the immensity of when Allah grants a servant the Ya, that I grant to you the knowledge is you took a path to reach to my inner light. The one whom entered into the world of light, then the authority established in their connection and their knowledge is that's why they don't have to study Arabic. Say, say, oh I don't know Arabic, I'm never going to learn Arabic, Allah didn't ask you to learn Arabic. 
Allah ask you to have a consciousness, Itaqullah wa alimakumullah. In Qur'an Allah gives to you, have a consciousness and I will teach you. Is the one who meditates, has good character, following their shaykhs, the little knowledge the shaykh begin to give him is enough. Just a few alif ba ta is enough for them. Just follow with good knowledge, follow with good character, be kind, be soft, be loving so that they can present you into that ocean of realities. And then Allah words are true that they have a consciousness, they have a sincerity, I will teach the servant. Means the angels will become and begin to whisper into the heart of that servant the knowledges and the, the realities that is required for that servant to understand. This is not a way of reading, this is not a way in which you keep looking at a book and wondering when this is going to come to you. But this is a way in which you meditate and connect your heart and your very soul and that the illumination is coming from the level of the soul and not the level of the eyes. That they illuminated their soul and Allah gave them power and authority, Divinely lights and Divinely energies in which in this salaam, this word of peace, every angel loves this servant. That if they need to know something the angel comes and inspires them. They look at a flower and in and, and amazement the angels that govern that reality because of Allah's salaam and love and peace upon that servant they come and illuminate the servant of Allah Like if you've seen the movies when like the, the royalty or the royal crown or the, the royal princes they leave the palace, everything in the kingdom is there to serve them. And Allah's kingdom that has no corruption, no egoism, that when a servant of the kingdom moves throughout Allah's creation, everything that governs that kingdom from the world of light is at their disposal to illuminate them, to teach them, to give them understanding. This is the salaam wa awlami rabbir raheem, every awliya is there to be of service and khidmat and to, to to make things for the heavenly kingdom to be facilitated. So means the immensity of that reality, the immensity of that power. That's why we said that when you look at that ya it has an immense secret. So the one whom Allah illuminates their inner reality and gives them from their outer reality, what happens? Allah grants this ya to the servant. And then takes them to the hay because their life was in the hay of hidayat, right? Because these people are guided students and if they're following one of the guides of hidayat because the guide has a hay. They're already being dressed by the hay. As a result of being dressed by the hay what happens? Allah's granting to them the ya and they become who? They're being dressed with these oceans of love, they're being dressed by the realities of this love. Allah takes them to ha and then become hai. So the ones whom they have knowledges of the world of light, then they mastered the knowledge of the world of form because it's far less the superior is the world of light, the, the, the difficulty is the world of light, not taking a 10 year course uh, on this earth. But taking a 20 year, 25 year path in the world of light that never ends, as a result they have a yaqeen, Allah merely begins to attach them to these other realities. They took a ha with a ya they became hai. Allah granted them now from the oceans of eternity. 
and that these servants they have hayya, they have the hayya of dunya and hayya of akhirah. Allah granted their souls an eternal reality. Because this salam from Rahim is Ra Hai Mim. So Rahim is Ra means these lordly souls, salamun from all of them. Now all their salams are coming. As a result, Allah is granting them this hayat. And Allah grants them to be from Hai, that they are now reaching eternal realities upon their soul and that they're Hai, they are from the servants of Hai. These are the who, men and women, doesn't matter their, their attribute in the world of light, it's a world of light. And that the mean that they are all Muhammadiyoon in Bahrul Muhit in the oceans that are all comp- encompassing of Muhammadun Rasulullah That same Ya and that same reality was given to Imam al Husayn because that's the Muhammadan haqqaiq. That when Allah created the sifat of Rahim and brought into existence the Muhammadan light and partitioned the Muhammadan light that these lights will be your two eyes. One from my attribute of Rahman, I'm going to dress from Sifat al-Rahman onto the soul of Imam al-Hasan and that will be your one eye. And from my attribute of Rahim. I'm going to dress the reality of the soul of Imam al Husayn and this will be Sifat al Rahim in your other eye. And this become Qurat al Ain, the beautific, the beautiful, the lights and the realities of the holy vision of Sayyidina Muhammad that all creation is asking, Ya Rabbi, that grant us the nazar, means grant the two eyes of Prophet to dress us. That is the dress of Bismillahir Rahman and Ar Rahim. Because Bismillahir Rahman and Rahim is the reality of Prophet. These are 19 letters of Bismillahir Rahman and Rahim that is all encompassing of Muhammad, Ali, Fatima, Hassan, and Hussein. That over these 19 letters Allah brought all of this reality in these oceans of reality. That Imam al Husayn carries that knowledge and the reality of Sifat al Rahim. And as a result of that yaqeen and those knowledges, Wasi Sharat Imam al Husayn, the abundant fountain of the knowledges of Imam al Husayn. That comes from the oceans of Sifat al Rahim in the world of Malakut. That kulli shay, this world of Malakut that encompasses every authority. That Allah with that light created Imam al Husayn, as a result, his physical life showed the complete annihilation of his physicality because his spiritual reality of Rahim is the authority of everything in the world of form. And as a result that authority showed itself in the field of battle for Allah That from his very soul and the reality of Rahim completely obliterated its physicality for the authority of his soul and his reality and what she represents. And that's why it's called Sayyid al-Shuhada, the one whom Mushahada, the one whom wishes to die in the way of Allah and wishes for death before death, the one whom wishes that the, the, the vision of dunya die within them for the vision of akhirah. That they don't want to see hayat dunya that the, the life and the desire of only the world but grant the desire of the heavens to be more superior, more powerful. That needs from Sayyidah Shuhada. Because he's the dress of Sifat al Rahim, he's one of the realities of Salam and Gawlam al Rabbi Rahim. That Imam al Husayn has to sign for that servant 
that they are now mushahida, that they have taken the way in which to die before they die. They sacrifice themselves for the reality and that that reality dresses their inner eye. For what is the perfection of an outer eye? Is nothing. So you need from the inner authority means the, the sifat of sifat al rahim that controls the vision of the soul. If that granted to the soul of the servant and their soul's vision is activated where they can see beyond the seven heavens and they can have little to no vision in their physical eye. For many awliya have no vision because they don't need their physical eye. The physical eye comes, goes with health and wealth or whatever it comes and goes. But the vision of the soul is, is uh, beyond imagination, beyond all realities. And this is what has to be attained. These are the realities in the secret of Ya when Allah want to grant. And then the scene comes and begins to develop all of its realities and that's why Allah then professes by that reality, Ya Seen wal Qur'an al-Hakeem. Every wisdom of Qur'an, if there's a book that can revive the dead, this is the book. All holy books within this book and no crookedness within this book. And this book, its manifestation, its walking reality is Muhammadun Rasulullah Kitab al-Mubeen. And Allah then inshaAllah we'll talk tomorrow for, for more of who is Imam and Mubeen. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun ala mursaleen alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basira Surat al-Fatiha. Shafati ala Surika. Ameen. Loaded, if you didn't understand anything I said, don't worry about it. Just keep playing the, the video and meditating. It's not for the, the mind of people, it's for the heart and the very soul of people. That you hear it, the dress came to the soul, those whom, who wanted it to be released, released it. And what accompanies these knowledges are the beings that will push it into the reality of the soul. And that's all that's important that the soul heard it, the soul sits and meditates with it and those whom couldn't perceive or, com or comprehend exactly best that they sit, they take a picture of the shaykh, they look at the picture, close their eyes and again listen to the talk while meditating. So that they can listen again, listen again and these knowledges illuminate the heart and soul of the believer inshaAllah. We'll show this one more time, I don't know if they have that up. This is about the ya, the two dots, one dot for the world of form and one dot for the… So when we have ya and seen, inshaAllah. <laughs> and I think our, our people on the internet, they have the graphics that we have for the ya and it's in a circle so take all these graphics and these articles on the websites and alhamdulillah this is the month in which inshaAllah that opening coming, those knowledges are coming and by the authority of those whom in charge of these knowledges, these realities that they dress the soul, propagate the reality deep within the soul for certainty. For that very certainty is what protects us from the magician and deceit. Because the deceitful one is coming with deception and lies. So what, what is the cure to a lie? Yaqeen, certainty. Because you look at the magician and the magic show, close your eyes, you meditate, your certainty comes in. So that you can look at things with the inner certainty and become more and more difficult, more and more deception. And that's what they are trying to call on this earth is to be awoke, to be awakened. Anybody wanting to awaken then you have to do things. 
that you know you're not the uh, Sitna Maryam salam where everything has to come to your living room and feed you grapes. We are people whom are required to take a step. Allah is, is, is not looking for lazy people to save from Dajjal but looking for people who have a himma and a, a zeal. And Allah is looking to us, take a step. If you take a step Allah comes 99 steps. But if we're so lazy that we don't even want to take a step and just say, well it'll come to me, it won't come, deception will come. And as a result Allah is looking for himma, a zeal, that people have to have a zeal. That's why they're encouraging people, please click, just click to show that you have at least a, a some step of a zeal in which to do something. And that's what's important in these days so that Allah's light and love comes running towards us. So everybody has a way in which to serve and to reach towards these immense, that's why they give the immensity of the knowledge. It's not like something small, that they're showing immense realities and it's all achievable. And Allah just make a step and then make, make another step. And so every day they encourage us, make a step, make a step. Until before you know it you're running and Allah's running towards you inshaAllah. And people posted or somebody posted that, oh I'll make a comment once you, you guys begin to reply to my comments on, on one of the social media platforms. So it doesn't work that way that we are the most accessible sort of Sufi path I think anyone can imagine. That anyone who has any type of question, help me at nurmuhammad.com, no messaging, no waiting for comments in the comment section, that we merely produce the videos and then the students can make the comment regarding the teachings so that to encourage the algorithms that this is a nice video, it's liked, they begin to show it to other people so that it has more views and, and more propagating. As far as communicating it's so simple that people just help me at Nur Muhammad, it's a Gmail account or it's an email account, help me at nurmuhammad.com and they ask the questions. The questions regarding their life, their spirituality and if they want to know deeper on a subject. But the questions are never to question the shaykh and the knowledge. Like prove to me where in Qur'an this exists, who are you that we have to sit and prove to you where this exists. This is not the path, this is not the type of and the manners of questioning. Questioning is, this was a talk, Shaykh I wanted more knowledges of this, more of this, where can we get knowledge of this and we direct people towards the articles and towards the knowledges that they want to illuminate themselves because we can distinguish between the others whom they have been taught bad manners and the bad character madhabs in which they question even the, the beatific reality of Sayyidina Muhammad we're not entertaining anything like that. That that's so far behind that if, if you're at that then don't bother yourself even following. But those who want to understand start to binge watch the videos. Click on a reality, click on a playlist and watch 30 of them within the next week and you bring yourself up to speed about who we are, what we teach and the realities that we're teaching, inshaAllah. But most, most uh, accessible shaykh you probably can find out there, that you have the ability to communicate. All our people are logging in on Thursday. On Friday and Saturday asking the questions that are relevant to the subject so we don't go off topic in 50 different directions and that would create chaos for anyone watching they would be so distracted. But the, the accessibility is because of these last days and the immense, immense amount of harm and difficulty. And anybody who's been with us for the last two years saw through all the pandemic and all the confusion how much mashaAllah there was guidance and, and sort of safety and security and that people didn't feel alone and they, they didn't go through what, the, what was planned for them to isolate and to break them down. As a result of the tariqahs they felt very connected, very guided and alhamdulillah they traversed through an immense ocean of difficulty and with all those du'as 
mm, I would say 99% unscathed, no difficulties, alhamdulillah. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.